everybody, it's Feya from Persian Vlog. Today I want to teach you some Persian idioms and slang uh, to look more native when you are communicating and traveling in Iran. For example, in Persian language we don't say thank you, we say Dastet Dard Nakone and I think it's beautiful. Dasta dard nakone means literally your hand doesn't hurt. Your hand doesn't hurt. And when you want to, for example, take a taxi, at the end of the, your trip, you can say to your taxi driver, Dasta dard nakone. <laughs> In Persian, we don't say thanks a bunch. Instead, we say khastenabashid. And I think it's beautiful. It means don't be tired if you want to translate it word by word. For example, you take a taxi and at the end of your journey, you want to say thanks a bunch to your driver. You can say khastenabashid. <laughs> Sometimes you can see mothers to their children saying Badatsham, Korbunet Like um, I have a baby girl, it's a Persian cat, and sometimes I'm saying to her Korbunet Beramban, Badatsham. And what do you think about it? What does it mean? It means I love you so much and I admire, somehow worship you. I want to teach you another useful uh, slang. For sure, when you're traveling around Iran, you make many Iranian friends and when you come back to your own country after several days you miss your friends in this situation you can text them and write them Dilam Barat Tang Shode Juna It literally means my heart has become tight for you and even you can show the measure of this tightness, like up to the tip of a needle, like I miss you big time. Another useful Persian slang. Jaya Shama Khali literally means your place is empty. And what does it mean exactly? When we can use it? For example, you make Iranian friends and now you are in another city uh, chatting with them that they are in other city. And they have a party, they call you and they say, Jaya Shama Khali, your place is empty here in the party. Means uh, you are not there and they somehow miss you and they wish you be there to enjoy the party as well. Hello Fia. Hi Hassan, how are you doing? I'm fine. I just walking in this lovely place called yeah, the Sun Palace. It's really beautiful. And I knew you are here. Mm -hmm. and I bring a special gift for you. Thank you. Yeah, my mom sent this What's apple this? chips for you. This is our uh, garden product. Thank you, but I'm good. Thanks. Come on, making tar off, take some. That's a show of that not kind of. Nah, Bobo Abel Big Ear. Are you okay. sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. Mm, this is special for you. Mmm, mm, yummy. Bah, bah. bah. I love it. Bah, bah. What did mm. you say exactly? You didn't teach it to your travelers? 
No. That's a very key point, an important word. Really? Mm. As an Iranian person, I can recognize Iranians by saying bah bah all around the world. Mm. When we love someone, when we love a taste, a nice tile working or anything, we say bah bah. It means yummy, beautiful, nice. I got like it. I got it. When you uh, enjoy something, mm -hmm. yeah, and I want, and you want to show your uh, feeling that you like it. Yeah. Interesting. Good and to know. So simple. And you should let them know that the upside down or vice versa or opposite of it is ah. ah. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the taste, if you don't like the face, the song, the weather, or anything, you say ah ah. So I, these are very key points and important things that they can recognize Iranians. I got yeah. it once. Yeah, so times I also heard a or ah, ah. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it. Thank you. But this is a really bah bah. Even my dog, Mr. Teodor, knows bah bah very well. دست مادرت درد نکنه. دست شما درد نکنه. خیلی زحمت کشیدی. Such a sunny day. Bye-bye.